Hello, I'm Dr. Alia Fatou. The goal of this brief presentation is to highlight the importance of screening for hepatitis C virus, or HCV. Before we begin, I'd like to summarize the main points of what we will be discussing with you today. We will begin with a brief overview of the current state of HCV care in the United States. Next, we will be joined by an expert in the field, Dr. Brian Perlman, to discuss the benefits of screening specific populations at risk. We will also address the most effective methods of screening for HCV. Finally, we will discuss the role of Quest Diagnostics in HCV care and the complete range of tests available from HCV screening to treatment and follow-up procedures. Let's start by discussing the state of HCV care today. HCV is a significant public health problem in the United States, especially in persons over the age of 50. In recent years, a number of new HCV treatments have become available. As a result, a cure is now possible for more than 90% of patients. However, only a small fraction of those affected have been properly diagnosed and treated. Therefore, tests that facilitate screening, diagnosis, and treatment are essential for managing this disease. It is estimated that between 3.5 and 5 million people in the United States may have HCV infection. Because HCV is often an asymptomatic disease, less than one-third of individuals have been properly diagnosed, and an even smaller fraction of the population has been successfully treated. Joining us now to discuss the challenges in HCV screening and to provide further insight on getting more patients diagnosed, please welcome Dr. Brian Perlman. Dr. Perlman is the Medical Director at the Center for Hepatitis C at the Atlanta Medical Center. He is also an Adjunct Professor of Medicine at both the Medical College of Georgia and at the Emory School of Medicine. Thanks for having me. I always welcome an opportunity to discuss such an important topic as hepatitis C. Dr. Perlman, can you please describe the target population most recommended for HCV screening? Of course. Uh, there are specific risk groups that are recommended for hepatitis C screening. The list includes groups such as injection drug users, anyone on long-term hemodialysis, patients with persistently abnormal AST, ALT, or bilirubin levels, people with occupational exposure to hepatitis C, recipients of transfusions or organ transplants before 1992, children born to women with hepatitis C infection, all patients with HIV infection, and finally, all baby boomers who are defined as adults born between 1945 and 1965. Hepatitis C infection is most prevalent among baby boomers. This population accounts for approximately three quarters of all patients with chronic hepatitis C infection. Can you please describe the impact of HCV on baby boomers? Baby boomers are strongly affected by hepatitis C. As you can see, the vast majority of deaths due to hepatitis C occur among baby boomers who are between the ages of 48 and 68 in 2013. As a result, it is recommended that all baby boomers undergo a one-time screening for hepatitis C regardless of their possible exposure to risk factors. What could account for this age group being most susceptible to HCV? It could be attributed to a number of things. For example, the use of contaminated blood for transfusions before the introduction of donor screening in 1992. It's also possible that this risk is related to a high rate of injection drug use in the earlier years of their lives. Dr. Perlman, what are the clinical characteristics of chronic HCV? Undiagnosed hepatitis C can be a silent killer. Hepatitis C infection is often asymptomatic even when mild to severe liver disease is present. Development of cirrhotic liver disease or other symptomatic disease may take up to 20 to 30 years and only occurs in approximately of 10 to 20 percent of patients. In patients who have had hepatitis C for 30 years, cirrhosis rates are estimated at 41%, which is almost three times higher than the rates predicted at 20 years duration. The rate of fibrosis progression is also accelerated in patients with hepatitis C HIV co-infection. 
Chronic hepatitis C infection is the number one cause of end-stage liver disease, hepatocellular cellular carcinoma, and liver-related death in the Western world. Thank you, Dr. Perlman, for providing this background on the importance of screening. Now, could we discuss further the steps involved in screening patients who may have HCV? Sure. The uh, algorithm for testing for hepatitis C begins with initially testing for the presence of a hepatitis C antibody. There are three scenarios that may occur. One, a non-reactive or negative test. Two, a reactive or positive test with PCR negative results. Or three, a reactive or positive test with PCR positive results. Would you mind explaining these results in further detail? I'd be happy to. A non-reactive or negative test indicates that antibodies are not present, which verifies that a patient does not have hepatitis C. However, if a person has been exposed to the virus in the past six months, he or she will need to get tested again with a hepatitis C RNA measurement. A reactive or positive antibody test means that hepatitis C antibodies were found in the blood and the person has been infected with hepatitis C at some point in time. Once infected, a person will always have the antibodies in their blood, regardless of whether or not the virus has been cleared. If the antibody test is reactive, a nucleic acid test is conducted to determine if the patient is currently infected. This test is called a PCR test. How can the PCR test results be interpreted? If the result of the PCR test is negative, it is likely that there is no current hepatitis C infection. This could be attributed to a false positive screen, or perhaps spontaneous viral clearance has occurred. If the follow-up PCR test is positive, however, then a current hepatitis C infection is present, and the affected patient should be referred to a provider who is experienced in diagnosing and treating the disease. Thank you, Dr. Perlman, for taking the time to inform us about current screening guidelines and the importance of screening in the treatment of HCV. This has been very helpful. Thank you. If you don't mind, I would like to make a final point. Hepatitis C is a significant public health problem, and it is essential that all baby boomers undergo a one-time screening for hepatitis C, regardless of their possible exposure to risk factors. Thanks again, Dr. Perlman. This concludes our brief presentation regarding the important role of screening strategies in HCV care. We hope you found this informative, and beneficial to your practice. It is also important to note that Quest Diagnostics offers a complete range of tests that are critical for managing HCV at every step of a patient's journey, from screening to cure. Thank you for your time.